Chicken Express and Dave Campbell's Texas Football have partnered once again to honor the heroes in your community. Male and female student athletes that lead by example, not only on the field of play, but also in the classroom, can be honored as Chicken Express Community Heroes of the Month and receive a $250 scholarship to continue their education beyond high school. In addition, each Community Hero of the Month winner will be eligible to win Community Hero of the Year and receive a $1,500 scholarship. And today we are so proud to honor Kasten Merrill of Grapevine High School with the Chicken Express Community Heroes of the Month Award. And of course, joining us in the celebration is the head girls soccer coach of the Grapevine Mustangs, Mr. Stephen McBride. Kasten, we'll go ahead and start this thing off with you, and we'll start off in the athletics category. You play soccer at Grapevine High School and have been playing this sport for 15 years. Talk a little bit about your journey with soccer and how you first got involved with the sport. So I started my soccer journey playing with my brother, who is two years older than me, on his soccer team. And then my whole family has been a soccer family. So... From his team, I went to playing academy soccer and I was, I played academy for probably seven years and then just kept moving up the levels and kept joining new teams year after year and just have worked my way up. It really is a commitment, man. That's a, it's a lot of soccer. And how has the, uh, the sport shaped you into the person that you are today? I think I've become a very hard worker and I've been able to learn how to work with very different types of people, especially being in the midfield. I need to know a variety of roles while I'm playing on the field. So I need to know how the whole field and everyone's position works. So I think I've become a very good team player along with the leader being the captain of the varsity team. I've become a good communicator and just how to talk to a lot of different people, adults and peers. Absolutely. And you are obviously very passionate and good at the sport. So talk about some of those awards and recognition that you have received. For the past three years, I received first team all district. My junior year, I received first team all state. My junior year, I received midfield MVP, co-MVP for our district. And my team has been second in state as well as third in state. Man, that's awesome. And outside of athletics, you're involved in extracurricular activities, some of which include National Honor Society and Student Council. And you're also involved throughout your community by volunteering to teach speech pathology, I can't even say it, to elementary and middle school age students. What made you first decide to become involved with uh, teaching speech pathology to younger kids? So I've actually been a part of the education and training program in our district for all four years of my high school. And this is the first year I've talked to a lot of my friends and people that I've met in speech pathology. And it is a career path that I could go into and still be in the classroom, but make a little more money, a little have a different role than teaching. So I wanted to try that out. And I really liked it. We got to play a lot of games and I got to make really good connections with all of the kids in that class. Do you have a favorite memory from, from one of those times? I think my favorite memory is when I was out for soccer at the state tournament. And so I missed a couple classes. And when I came back, the kids had made me cards congratulating me for going all the way to state. And they just like, we're very proud of me. That's just proof that you're touching those lives and you probably don't even know it. That's so awesome. Well, and speaking of your future, of course, you want to go into speech pathology, like you just said, but do you have other plans, you know, maybe to play soccer at the next level? You're, you're a senior, so you're about to graduate. Yes, I am going to play soccer at Washita Baptist in Arkansas. That's awesome. Well, we can, we can tell that you've got such a bright future. Coach McBride, we're gonna throw it over to you. Looking at the title of this award, which is the Community Heroes of the Month, does that describe who Kasten is as a person? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, she's multifaceted. I mean, she's not only just led us through uh, four of our, our biggest years as far as just, uh, 
you know, with all the accolades that our team has been able to achieve, but she led us through some really dark times too. Uh, this, this senior class uh, has had to deal with, with a global pandemic. Uh, her sophomore year was cut short due to, uh, we had an undefeated team that year, uh, was cut short because of COVID and, and obviously just the academic dynamic has changed uh, dramatically for these, these kids. And uh, Kasson has been kind of the, the, the figurehead for us and, and growing our program through these times. And it's, it's been challenging, but she has definitely not only impacted us, but just community wise, just get back into the schools, uh, read into the kids, et cetera. So a uh, great family, uh, can't say enough about how she was raised. It's, it's very evident when you get to be around her that she was raised right by two great parents that uh, definitely have some core values that show through her. Absolutely. And with Kasten being the recipient of this award, um, what does that say about the hardworking and dedicated students just of the Grapevine community? Wow. Well, I mean, shoot, just the fact that she was selected from the girls that were, were nominated from our school. Uh, they're all great kids, all have done great things both on and off the court. So I think that just speaks volumes about just the quality of the athlete and the people that attend Grapevine High School. So, uh, Gasson's definitely a very uh, deserving winner of this, but at the same time, uh, humble. Uh, she, uh, she's, she's just all around, you know, just that's just who she is. What you see is kind of what you get. And of course, I got to ask you as a coach, seeing that Kasson is not only involved with athletics, but just as involved in her academics and the community, how does that make you feel? Oh, well, I mean, my cup is full. Uh, we talk about our, our motto here at school is our, for our team is one Mustang. Uh, she epitomizes that. She represents us in all areas on and off the field. But more than anything, it's the legacy that she's left. Uh, like I said, we've transitioned through some really dark times and have come out on the on the back end of this with, with some great memories, uh, two trips to the state tournament. But it's the fact that, you know, as she graduates, the culture and the the, uh, that we have in our locker room is evident by her leadership and, and obviously with the other captains that she was involved in uh, growing our team. So, uh, um, shoot, I just got our numbers today for next year, and we have more numbers coming into our program than, you know, the last three years. So uh, definitely girls that want to be future Lady Mustangs and want to be a part of our at one Mustang family. Her older sister was uh, was a member of this program as well. So, We've got a rich tradition and, and the Merrills have definitely uh, uh, paved the way for one another, so to speak, and, and for future girls to come in and, and be successful. So super proud of them. I love that. That's awesome. And Kasten, what does an award spotlighting students that go above and beyond in their communities mean to you? I think it's a super special thing to do. And it just kind of, it's like a light in the tunnel to keep working hard and to be recognized for your hard work and that it doesn't go unnoticed. You're so right. And then that last question I got for you, do you have any final words or thoughts that you'd like to say to Chicken Express? Thank you Chicken Express for awarding me with this and I love their chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta ask you, spicy, no spicy? No spicy. No spicy, I get half and half usually. Coach, what you, you're spicy, okay, good, I was like, my heart, I can't go without, I can't go without someone liking the spicy and the sweet tea too. The sweet tea is unbeatable, I think. And they automatically give you the big cup, which is amazing. I'm like, yes, we don't need any small cups here. Like we need a large cup of sweet tea. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Well guys, on behalf of Dave Campbell's Texas Football and Chicken Express, congratulations, Kasten, on being the recipient of the Community Heroes of the Month Award. We will have voting at the end of the year for Community Hero of the Year Award, so keep your eyes peeled for that poll, which will be on texasfootball.com. And thank you to Coach McBride for being here and celebrating Kasten, all that she does to make the Grapevine community so special. And last but not least, thank you to Chicken Express for giving us the opportunity to recognize hardworking and dedicated individuals that go above and beyond in their communities.